Hi, it's Emma Nagel. So if you haven't seen this makeup tutorial yet, I will link it down in the down bar. But today's video is actually going to be a haul. So um, thumbs up for hauls. So I have bought so much shit this past like month or so. And I'm going to show you guys all the things that I have bought. So I have some MAC makeup, I have some drugstore makeup, I have some W7 makeup, I have some eBay makeup. Um, I have a whole lot of nail polishes also. So let me start out with um, some eyeshadow palettes. So I bought um, 388 eyeshadow palettes. So the first one I have looks like this. And I think this is I think this is the Metal Mania palette. And as you guys can see, one of the eyeshadows broke, which is so annoying. It was so like dusty. There was eyeshadow everywhere. But um, yeah, it's not too bad now. But um, that is the first 88 eyeshadow palette. Then I have this one, and I believe this is the 88 um, neutral palette. Maybe warm neutral, I don't remember exactly what it's called, but it looks like this. And then finally I have this palette, which is the 88 uh, Mirage eyeshadow palette, I believe. Really pretty colors. So on eBay I also got this 28 um, eyeshadow palette, and again one of the eyeshadows broke. Sad face. But again this is a very like neutral palette. And yeah, as I said, I just bought these eyeshadow palettes right on eBay and they were very affordable. Okay, so now I am going to go into some W7 eyeshadow palettes. So the first one I have here is the In The Night Up In Smoke eyeshadow palette. And this is what it looks like. So it has a lot of grays and a lot of light colors and then this pink over here. I really thought it was so cute. Then I also got my hands on the In The Buff Lightly Toasted eyeshadow palette. And this is what this looks like. I think this one is supposed to be a dupe of um, the Naked One palette. I also got the In The Night eyeshadow palette. And this one has a lot of pretty purples and dark colors and a few light colors also. And I also got the In The Nude eyeshadow palette. And it looks like this, a lot of like rose gold and pinks and those type of colors. And this is supposed to be a dupe of the Naked 3 eyeshadow palette from Urban Decay. And I already have the In The Buff eyeshadow palette from W7, so now I actually have all of these eyeshadow palettes. And I can't wait to do tutorials with them. I also have the 10 out of 10 eyeshadow palette from um, W7 so it has all of these gorgeous colors and I also have the 10 out of 10 browns so it has a lot of different brown colors shimmer, matte, um, dark light, all of that good variety then I also bought this cream eyeshadow palette from Technique so you get nine cream eyeshadows, a big mirror and a little sponge tip applicator and I really just bought this because I thought the colors went well with this eyeshadow palette. From W7 I also got the um, Hide It Concealer in the color Medium Deep. I actually got this one sent to me um, by W7, so thank you so much. And they also sent me um, the W7 Argan Oil Lip Balm. So it's just a clear lip balm. And it smells delicious. Oops, I have my money. Hey, me, what you own? They also sent me their King Cole eyeliner, as well as the Fig 'em Up mascara. They also sent me the eyeshadow palette um, in the mood, I think. But I sold it on eBay because I had already bought it myself. But yeah, thank you so much to W7 for sending me some goodies. Um, I also went out and purchased W7's lip paint. This is in the color Queen of Hearts. And I swatched this in the store and it's like a very, very pigmented lip gloss. Kind of like um, the Too Faced melted lipstick thingies. I also got this, a hint of Cuba. Um, which is a cheek and lip stain. It's like an orangey color. I also got the W7 Hollywood um, Bronze and Glow. This is supposed to be a dupe for the 
Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow. So you get a bronzer and a highlight. I can't wait to try this out. I really want to try the Charlotte Tilbury um, Film Star Bronze and Glow as well and do a comparison. I also finally received my Naked Nudes eyeshadow palette also from um, W7. If you guys saw my last W7 haul you know that I talked about this and I ordered it through eBay and um, it finally arrived. So I think this is the last thing that I got from W7. So this is the Pore Fiction Primer and I believe this is supposed to be a dupe of uh, Benefit the Professional. The only thing I don't like about this primer, even though I haven't tried it yet, but just from like what I can see is that it only contains um, 0.536 fluid ounces. Normally a primer is about one fluid ounce, so this is only like half of what a regular primer would contain. So I think that's kind of meh, you know? So I think that's all the W7 stuff. I did also get this Essence Powder. This is the All About Matte Translucent Powder. I've heard really good things about this, so I can't wait to try it out. So from Rimmel, I got the Wake Me Up Concealer. And I actually heard um, Charlotte Tilbury talk about this in one of her YouTube videos. So I just had to get it. Oh wait, I found another W7 product. So this is the um, Magic Gel Eyeliner. Okay, so next up I got this eyeshadow from Wet n Wild. This is called Panther and it's just a black color. And I have heard great things about this one as well, so that's why I got it. Then I also got the L'Oreal Telescopic Explosion Mascara in the color black. Again, I've heard so many great things about the Telescopic Mascara and um, this one was really affordable so I thought I would try it out. Then I also got the Maybelline um, Silk Glam Eye Studio um, Eyeshadow Quad. This is in the color Blue Drama and I believe um, they don't make them like this anymore. Um, now they have like a different packaging but um, you can still get this quad. It's still called Blue Drama and it's the same eyeshadows, it just looks different, like the packaging. Okay, so now I'm going to show you the Born Pretty Store things that I got. So first of all, I got this eyelash glue, and I read some reviews on the website, and they were very positive, so I can't wait to try out this glue. I also got this lip pencil, it's just like a red color. And I'm sorry if I'm a little bit like shaky, you guys. I haven't had lunch. Uh, I haven't had lunch yet, so I'm a little bit hungry <laughs> and not hungry. But anyways, back to business. I also got this um, this makeup sponge. So this is supposed to be a dupe of the um, the beauty blender. So I can't wait to try this out. I'm literally so excited. And I also got this little case just to store it in because I find that my sponges like especially when I travel they always get like dirty so I thought this was great so I have a place that I can securely keep my sponges in I also got this um, contour palette from Born Pretty Store so this is what it looks like so all of these colors are matte so you get like a dark contour color a lighter contour color then you get a more yellow highlight color and then a white highlight color. So I think this is perfect if you're looking for a good contour kit but you don't want to like spend all the money on like Kat Von D or um, Anastasia, Anastasia, Anastasia. <laughs> so I think that's all for all my Bond Pretty Store makeup. And I just saw that I missed one L'Oreal product. So I'm going to show you guys that now. So I got the L'Oreal True Match Minerals Foundation and I got it in the color... Can you see? It's in the color C2. And I'm not quite sure that this is my color. I'm normally more of a yellow um, undertone. But I do sometimes find that um, some yellow foundations are way, way, way too yellow. So I thought um, this could be good to use as a setting powder on top of that or I don't know, just use it as a minimal foundation. I don't really know why I bought this. I just really wanted to try minimal makeup again, okay? 
<laughs> oh yeah, I have one more thing from Born Pretty Store. Damn, I'm all over the fucking place in this motherfucking video. Damn. So I did also get this little travel brush set from Born Pretty Store. So you get an eyebrow comb, a sponge tip applicator, a powder brush, a lip brush, and an eyeshadow brush. So I think I'm going to use this kit to do an uh, like day to night look. Oh yeah, from Born Pretty Store, I also got this necklace. So it's just a really cute silver necklace and this was only like one dollar so loves it okay so next up I have some elf goodies so I bought the elf eyeliner in the color silver I also got the elf eyeshadow quad in the color luxe I also got the eyeshadow um, the eyeshadow quad in the color punk funk then I got the lipstick in posh I also got another tone correcting concealer. This one is in the color apricot beige. Then I got the eyelid primer in the color pearl. And I got the shimmer eyeliner pencil in the color iconic ivory. I got the healthy glow bronzer in the color warm tan. And finally I got the e.l.f. essentials powder brush. And I got the powder brush because I have the total face brush. But this brush is so fucking rough, I can barely use it. So um, I thought I would try out the powder brush and see if it's any better. Okay, you guys, I'm going to show you the nail polishes now. So um, here are all, ooh, all the nail polishes that I ooh, bought. <laughs> so I bought um, Flip Flop Fantasy by China Glaze. I wore this last summer and it was so incredibly pr uh, pretty. <laughs> So I had to get it again for this summer. I also got OPI Topless Beach. And this is a really pretty taupe color. And yeah, I love it. Then I got this hot makeup um, top coat. And I basically just got it because I need a new top coat. And then you guys, I got 10 Essie nail polishes. So I got the color Strut Your Stuff. I got the color Ballet slippers which is what I'm wearing right now. I also got the color Fierce No Fear. I got the color As Gold As It Gets. I got the color Sexy Divide. I got the color Too Taboo. I got the color Sugar Daddy. I got the color Orange. I got the color First Timer. And finally I got the color Bikini Sotini. So that's all the 10 nail polishes that I got from Essie. I love Essie nail polishes. They are quickly becoming my favorites. So I only have my MAC stuff left. Um, I only have two things from MAC because MAC is expensive, girl. But I did get the new MAC Pro Longwear Nourishing Waterproof Foundation in the color NC25. Um, so this is what it looks like. I have heard everybody and their mama rave about this. So I had to give it a go when I saw it in the MAC store. I just had to try it out and then I also got the MAC number 35 lashes again I have been wanting these for so long and they are so freaking pretty and you guys I think that's it for this haul that was a whole mouthful huh so thank you guys so much for watching please thumbs up this video if you liked it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already I will do first impressions with all of this new makeup so look out for that and yeah Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. So take care and bye bye.